Hello. Hey. How are you, everyone? Welcome back to Sacra Santa. It's me follows me back to my apartment after work. She's still not. She's still talking about the incident from earlier. Was it really a problem? Increased popularity for the cafe would be. Yes, it is a problem. You've got to have standards, Itsumi, says the pervert. That's true, that's true. Yes, yes, yes. I'm hardly the best role model to hear this from, but it's just felt wrong. I see. A slight smile crosses her features. Thank you, Koji. No worries. The fact that you did that means you were thinking about me. I was afraid we had, would have just grown apart over the years. You don't just forget those things, though. I mean, years and years of experiences together. It would be a strange man who forgot all of it. Yes, that's the last thing I would expect of you. So, how do you do it? What do you mean? How do you cope with the Christmas crowds? Somehow you manage to dance through them as if they were barely there. Just years of experience. The crowds grow bigger each year, but I'm prepared, more prepared for them each time. Besides, I was a lot more relaxed today. Why's that? Because I knew you were there to help. Ah! You might be less experienced than anyone else there, but that doesn't stop you at all. What you have is guts, Koji. A tireless spirit. Even if you complain a lot and you're clearly panicking, you keep going anyway. To work at that cafe, you need more than just skill. You need determination. Even after years of experience, I make mistakes. So hold on to the determination to keep going in spite of that. Even so, it's okay to relax now and then, you know. You can take a few minutes off if you need to clean it up. I was only able to do that because you decided to cover for me, Koji. Aw, oh, her smile was so happy! Normally, I would have just kept going. Oh, so the reason you, why you didn't stop was because... I feel like an idiot now. It was just a few drinks. Sure, some people got a show, but I wasn't really bothered. You almost made me feel guilty for a second. I thought you abandoned your guilt a long time ago. Only about preferred things. A man can't just throw aside his entire moral compass. But it's perfectly fine to do so when preferred things are involved. It may not be the most virtuous thing to do, but it's the best choice for me. So your moral conviction is so weak that you will just throw aside them when they're inconvenient? I wouldn't say that. I'm a perfectly moral, upstanding gentleman. Except perversion. She smirks at that. I know. After all, you chose to help me with the cafe. That's guts. Guts are important. Anyway, I'm tired after today, Koji. I hardly noticed. You get used to the work, eventually. But that was still a really long day. She walks up and pauses to gaze into my eyes, brushing a stray hair from my face. You need to make sure you look cleaned up and respectable, Koji. Management might get mad if you don't. I'll keep that in mind. Until next time! Goodbye. She walks out, but it's more like a cheerful skip. Oh, da 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 Yesterday was hell. I thought the day before that was hell, but that was a double hell. How does Itsumi survive this day after day? It must take an insane tenacity. I'm glad that I gave her a breather, though. Seeing her chest covered with... <laughs> no. Koji, why? Why, Koji? No, Koji, no. That's just wrong. That is wrong. Wrong for you. Right. Bad boy. Bad. She doesn't seem to have a problem showing her body, but I don't like the cafe using her like that. I guess I'm only just learning exactly how shameless she is. A much more womanly figure helps with that. <clears throat> With how flat she was, I didn't think she would ever have boobs. Oh, we're back to the boobs again. That guess sure turned out wrong. Anyways, today is another day. Take a break from work. Stay at home or visit the shrine today. What? What? No. What the fuck? Let's just do this. I think for now I need to take a break from working at Itsumi's Cafe. I've only been there twice and I already feel like I'm on death's door. How does she do it? It can't be experience alone. She makes mistakes too. It's an inevitable when you're under the, that kind of pressure. The entire crowd constantly demanding attention. How no one throws a fit after not getting service is beyond me. Come to think of it, are they there for the food or are they there to see Itsumi? That's what I'm not comfortable with. 
After all, she's my childhood friend. Other guys staring at her like that, it just doesn't feel right. I keep thinking that, but can I actually say anything about it? I mean, she's been under the impression that I'm oblivious for years. Why else would she do all these shameless things? Huh? Someone's knocking on my apartment door? Who could it be at this time? It's about time you opened up. Whoa! Don't you know how cold it is? Nice to see you too, Atumi. You don't have work? I have the day off. Even I need to relax sometimes. Since I have nothing better to do, I figured I would come see what was happening with you. Wow. I glance around my apartment. Not much to say, really. Nothing has changed since you were there here last year. I didn't think it would. It makes me glad. You're one of the few things in my life that doesn't change. Are you afraid of change? Yes. Change is scary and can throw your entire life upside down. It's better when things don't change. Do you really think so? I mean, what if you didn't meet me again? Would you have been content with your life as is? Well, content, but not happy. Maybe change isn't that bad. But don't go and change anything drastic, Koji. I like you the way you are. You mean you'll like it when you can tell what I'm thinking? That's an added bonus, but it's just nice to have something absolute in your life. I'm far from absolute, though. After all, I'm a much better student than before. Yes, you finally went to that university you always wanted to. But you don't look happy about it. Well... You and I got into the university I wanted, that's a bit lonely. I understand. But that doesn't matter now. You're here, so I'm definitely not alone. Uh-oh, uh-oh, the music got silent. Oh, no, it's back. Yes. I'll make sure you aren't alone, Koji. She looks around my apartment. I have a treat for you, Koji. What kind of treat? Oh, you'll see. She begins to unbutton her jumper. Whoa, easy there. I like looking at your chest. <sighs> But there's no need to rush. Just keep watching. Bit by bit, she strips down until she reveals something quite pleasing indeed. Okay. What? All right. Just, just a... Okay. Well, what do you think? <laughs> this was my high school swimsuit. It looks... Tight. Is that bad? N not at all. You never got a chance to see me in it. Now, you can have as much as you want. I can't help but notice how badly the swimsuit is straining over her chest. Did they give you a smaller size at the start of high school? Yes, then I just grew and grew and grew and grew and grew some more. I was wondering when it was going to happen. She pokes one of her breasts through the suit. I think I see one of the seams starting to split. Didn't you like school swimsuits? I remember you talking about high school and how you wanted to see girls in swimsuits. Now that she mentions it, I did have a thing for swimsuits. To think they designed these things to be non-arousing. But now people fetishize them everywhere. I don't know how to feel about that. It certainly is incongruous seeing it to me on one right now. <coughs> now why does it have a seam here? A seam where? Look downward. Oh, I've always wondered about that. She tugs at the lower half of the swimsuit, showing off flashes of skin with each pull. Why don't you come lie in my lap, Koji? Itsumi sits on the lounge and crooks one finger towards me, beckoning. Come here. Sit here. Your lap? Yes. Well, I might as well. Lying out and resting my head on her lap, I feel her start to play with and stroke through my hair. I keep glancing up to see those two jiggling blue mountains. Oh, we're back to the mountains. This is the best seat in the house right now. When was the last time we did this? I don't remember, but you definitely weren't winning wearing a school swimsuit then. Right, it was just before you left. Do you remember that night, Koji? I still remember anything from then. Her words become tinged with melancholy, despite her blank expression. Ah, uh, I shouldn't be bringing up stuff like that. Uh, uh. Are you enjoying the view, Koji? Of course I am. This view is one of the most glorious I've ever seen. Pervert. I know. For the next hour, I just lay there. Am, am I starting to feel that way about her? I think I am. When I saw her again, I wasn't sure how to feel about her. I know her feelings, but I don't know my own. It wouldn't surprise me now. After all, everything I do with her feels so intimate. Laying my head on her lap shouldn't embarrass a veteran perfect like me, but... Your face is red, Koji. 
She's back in her normal clothes now. It's a strange day to be wearing a swimsuit under your clothes, Itsumi. Does that matter? After all, I wanted you to enjoy it. That's the only thing that matters. She sits down again. So did you enjoy, Koji? Yes! Yes, I did! I'm glad. It seems you were a little embarrassed about it, too. Where's the legendary shamelessness of a true pervert? It's It's gone somewhere else for right now. It'll be back, though, I'm sure. Is that so? I guess there are moments like this, even for you, Koji. Not even seeing me naked made you blush like that. That, that isn't really the same. It's not? What's different about it? It just feels different. I wonder why that's the case. The answer is obvious. Intimacy. Something which I have scarcely experienced since middle school. Just sitting there and having someone minding you like that? It's nice. Koji, have you ever noticed anything about me? Noticed anything? Like what? I mean, do you think there's any significance behind my actions? Well, we're childhood friends. It's natural that we're close. I'm avoiding the question and playing the fool. No, Koji. I mean, she can't bring herself to do it, can she? If you want to say something to me, go ahead and say it. You can tell me anything, Itsumi. After all, we know each other really well. I don't think this is something we'll avoid this time. If I were to take a guess, she's finally going to admit to her feelings. But listen, Koji. Oh, she's blushing. There's something you should know. Yeah? What's the matter, Itsumi? There's something I've wanted to say to you for a long time. But I never had the courage to say it. I... She's struggling. But I already know what she's going to say. Or do you? I like you, Koji. Oh, I guess you did. I do. Eh? You... You knew the entire time? Y yeah, I knew. Since... Since when? Pretty much the minute that you started flirting with me. I'm not a dense harem protagonist or anything. Ha! When a girl likes you, it's pretty obvious. So yes, I knew from the beginning. You may not be dense, but you're an idiot. Uh, excuse me? Why didn't you say something earlier, Koji? Why? This entire time, I was thinking how much I regretted never confessing to you. Yet you knew the whole time. You just leave me suffering? You're a horrible person, Koji. Why? Just why? Why didn't you say anything to me? I... You were going to leave back then. If we were going to start dating, then have to leave. Wouldn't you feel much, much worse now? No. What felt worse was years of regret. Year after year at Christmas. I thought about how I should have confessed. About how we might have tried to make it work, even if we were apart. But instead of having some kind of closure, I've been living with my regrets. So what will you do about that, Koji? I don't know what to do. Do you not like me? Is that why you never said anything? Don't you want to be with me? It's not like that, isn't it? The whole time you said you liked women with curves. Do you know how that made me feel? I'm more than that, Koji. I only showed off because I thought it would get you to look at me. But you knew the whole time. That's a horrible thing to do to me. Didn't you care about how I felt, Koji? If you knew why... If you knew why they were... If you knew they were there, why didn't you answer those feelings? Don't you think you owed me that much if you knew I was leaving? Even if you rejected me, it would have been better than waiting all these years, never knowing if, how it could have worked out. She takes a few deep breaths, trying not to burst into tears. Just why? Why didn't you? I'm sorry, Tumi. Is that all you have to say? Please, Koji, can you say anything else? Can you give me an answer? She's really upset right now. I've screwed this up badly. I never thought about it that way. Now I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm attracted to you. That much is obvious, right? Yes. But do you love me? If you didn't say anything then, then maybe you didn't feel anything. Maybe if I confessed, I would have been, just been rejected. Were my feelings for nothing? She straightens out her sweater and starts towards the door. W wait, Atsumi. I need to go home. It will be a busy day at work tomorrow. I open my mouth to say something, but she just stares blankly back at me. Without another word, she steps out of my apartment and closes the door behind her. I've messed up big time. Da 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 da. Well, he really screwed the pooch, didn't he? 
We'll find out what happens next time. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification too. Like, comment if you feel like doing it. Hope you have a great day. Hope to see you again next time. Thank you. Bye.